Okay guys, so previously on Engineer Boy, this video was uploaded in Pashto language and this time I'm gonna upload this in English language. Where here we got a slab having length equals 7 meter and breadth equals 4 meters. And there our main bars and temperature bar as you can see in the drawing, we got main bars equals 25 mm at the rate 15 centimeter center to center. Where here 25 mm is the diameter of the bar you can say and date 15 centimeter center to center means just the distance between two main bars and if you look to the temperature bar these are also known by the distributions bar okay those are 13 mm at the rate 15 centimeter center to center and there is two centimeter concrete core okay at each side you can say so what if you are asked to determine the steel quantity by the given slab okay in this video, we're gonna answer how much steel for the given slab. Okay, so without wasting time, let me go ahead for the solution. And in the solution, I'm gonna do this work in few steps, you can say, okay. My first step can be the number of steel bars, which I'm gonna calculate is the total distance by center to center plus one. How it works, where does it come from? We're gonna discuss this little late, okay. My second step can be the total length, which may be the length of one bar times number of bars. And then just we're going to add extra length. Okay. In extra length, there can be overlay hooks. Okay. We're going to discuss this a little late. All right. My number three, or you can say the third step can be the weight of bars. And for which I'm going to use this formula. Okay. The D square by 162.198 times length of bar. Okay in MKS system. If you are working in the APS system, of course, you can use D square by 52.9 times L. Okay. Okay. So the derivation of this formula is also uploaded in the same channel. You can watch that. Okay. The link to that video is down below in the video description. All right. So going ahead in the solution to the solution, sorry. And in the solution, I'm going to calculate and I'm going to do the calculation for the main bar first. Okay, and if you remember that first step, which is the number of main bars, and this time the total distance, which must be seven meters. Okay, because if you look to the main bars, these are the shorter bar. Okay, these these bars, okay, which are just shorter with respect to the other bars. Okay, and as you can see, these divide the the length, which is this one, seven meter. Okay. Okay, these main bars divide this side, which is the longest side. So seven meter divided by center to center, which is known 15 centimeter, or you can say 0 0.15 meters, okay? Because we're gonna divide that 15 by 100, okay? Because one meter equals 100 centimeters. So we're gonna divide that 15 centimeter by 100, which means 0 0.15 meters, all right? And plus one, why we add one over here because if we divide the total distance by center to center which can get of course the number and this is gonna start from here okay as you can see if you if you look to the cursor but we provide one bar at the start over here that's why we provide and we plus one over here in the formula okay so the number of main bar can be of course 47.67 bars and which is not a complete value you can say we can round that okay to a complete figure you can say and that is of course 48 bars all right and then i'm gonna calculate the total length of the main bars which can be of course the length of one bar times number of bars plus extra length and tl okay i'm gonna call the total length equals tl and that is of course the length of one bar which is four this time okay and if you can see in the drumming, the breadth of the slab is four meter, okay? Which of course just uh, uh, tells us about the length of main bar, okay? But we are gonna subtract the concrete cover to one side and another side, okay? As you can see, it is given two centimeter, or you can say 0 0.02 meters. So four minus 0 0.02 minus 0 0.02. This is of course two times concrete cover for one side and another side. So the total length can be four minus two times concrete cover times the number of bars, which are 48 bars. 
okay it's been calculated over there just few seconds ago and plus extra length this time as you can see if you look to the drawings we are not informed nothing is given over here about where layers are hooks okay and there is no section or long section so a quantity surveyor is gonna calculate or do all calculation just from the drawings or with respect to drawings and in the drawing there is no extra length so we're gonna ignore you can say and this can be zero you can say okay so total length can be of course now 190.08 meters and then we're gonna calculate the weight of main bars and for this approach of course we can use the same formula okay d square by 162.198 times l all right so w equals d square d here is the diameter of bar which is 25 mm you can say for the main bars so 25 square divided by the same figure times the length which is of course calculated just few seconds ago and that is 190.08 so do limit multiplication with this we can get of course 732 kg is the weight for the main bars so this means we're gonna order 722 kg 25 mm bars okay and next i'm gonna calculate the temperatures bar and these are also known by sometimes the distributions bar okay these are just fixed or provided at the top of main bars so i'm gonna calculate the number of bars the number of temperature bars which is the total distance by center to center plus one and that is of course the total distance okay if you look to the temperature bar these guys just divide this side of this slab okay just the breadth of this slab and that is four meters and divided by center to center that is known 15 centimeter okay and the same thing we're going to divide 15 centimeter by 100 and that is of course 0 0.15 meter okay and then we're going to add one bar that is extra bar for the end or for the start so the number of bars can be 27.67 bars and again it is not a complete figure so we're going to add one ah uh, sorry not one we're going to complete this figure okay to 28 we can say 28 bars can be provided okay is temperature bars all right we cannot decrease the value okay as you can see this is uh, uh 27 bars we can't say 27 because if we decrease the video there can be a, a huge spacing between two bars okay so that's why we're gonna we're gonna increase the video to 28 just to overcome those uh you can say contingencies so the number of temperature bars are now 28 bars and then we're gonna calculate the total length of temperatures bar and the same formula can be used as we did for the main bars so tl equals the length of one bar this can be seven meter okay if you look to this side okay and these are temperature bars so these are seven meters but we're gonna subtract two times concrete core for one side and for another side and that is two centimeter all right now times number of bars those are 28 bars plus extra length there is no extra length okay because we can have seven meter lengthy bar okay in the market or we can add a seven meter lengthy bar okay from the market there is nothing mentioned in the drawing about our layers or hooks are about extra length okay so this can be zero so the total length is now 194.88 meters and the same formula can be used for the weight okay d square divided by blah blah blah, blah. all right so w equals d square this time we got 13 mm as dia bar so 13 square divided by the same figure times the length which is known 194.88 meters and that is of course 203 kg all right so the final results are here we're gonna order 722 kg 25 mm bars and 203 kg 13 mm bars that's it hey if you like these types videos please hit that subscribe button press the bell icon and never miss an update from engineer boy